Abby, what can you tell us about what you have seen and are experiencing right now, really? Um, so we've seen, um, I, I was going for a walk and running at the same time. It happened and we've seen plenty of like helicopters. So I think I've seen three or four. Um, we've seen two circulating round Southport and then two on the field um, right next to the park to where it happened. Uh, we've also just seen lots of police cars and lots of um, ambulances and stuff like that, which is quite out of the ordinary. Yeah. When you say a park, is is there a park behind these houses? Because it looks like Hart Street looks fairly densely residential. Um, a couple of streets down, there is like a park and um, a fe- like a field. It's not quite. It's it's quite small, but um, I, I know it's right next to the uh, the football stadium, which is a couple of streets away. Which football stadium? Do you know? Uh, Southport football stadium. Oh, Southport football. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. just just checking. Um, and do you do you know whether the incident happened in the park or in the property? No. We currently don't know anything around here either. It's just purely what the statement what you're has seeing. said. Yeah. What's the what's the sense of that? What what are people feeling around there, Abby? Because it's pretty shocking when something like this happens under your nose, isn't it? Very shocking. Um, when I've spoken to my neighbours, they've seemed quite shocked as well because yeah. stuff like this doesn't really happen much around here. Yeah. So, like, I think there's apart from a couple of months ago, it's been quite quiet. There's not been much happen. So when you're speaking to your neighbours, it's like it's quite a bit of a shock. And it, it, in terms of the the kind of the people that live around there, would you say it's a family area? Lots of families. Uh, yeah, definitely. You see families all the time around mm. here. I, I think it's definitely where we live. It is quite family populated. Mm. I'm just looking at a map now and can see that park that you've alluded to at the end of that road. Yeah, and it's very near the sea as well, isn't it? I mean, I know that I know that Liverpool is also very near the sea, but it's <laughs> Southport is where you have the beaches as well, isn't it? Where people would go to in in good weather like this. Oh, yeah, definitely. And you've got a lot of events and stuff like that that happens around here, too. So it's definitely it's definitely a peaceful and calm place, I'd say, in Southport, apart from, obviously, these incidents. Yeah, today. Thank you very much, Abby, for your call, Abby, in Southport. No, no thank you very much. Um, Abby lives nearby. She was out running uh, when she started to hear the commotion uh, related to the event. Um, Northwest Ambulance has put out a statement saying that it is in attendance, but that's been pretty evident uh, from the pictures as well. They describe it also as a major incident. Uh, Claire has called from Southport, um, lives nearby um, to this incident, that's this major incident that police and ambulance and other um, emergency services are dealing with. Uh, Claire, is it a question of what you can hear rather than what you can see at this stage? Yeah, absolutely, Sheila. Unfortunately, we were in the garden and we heard uh, a lot of sirens uh, going past so much so that I sort of looked at my husband and said, this, this is something is serious. That, yeah. yeah. Um, and we, we know we're not right near where the incident has happened, um, but we, you know, we do, we, we hear, we hear when uh, emergency services are either coming in or going out of Southport, mm. kind of on that long, like long road. Mm. Um, and my um, my son's uh, he has a PA. He's got disabilities. My son and my, my and she she called me and she was really upset, saying that you know um, on, on some of the forums on Facebook things are coming out that it sounds like that this incident was um, basically starting to unfold. Um, and how horrific it it, it was, Sheila, mm. and is. And is it is it a busy? Is that the, the when that road you described that where you always you often hear if there are emergency services on it, you'll hear it. Is that the road that runs from Southport down into Liverpool city centre? Not uh, Southport city centre, you mean? Yeah, or, or either or really. Yeah, it, we kind of it, the road that leads into Southport basically. Right, right. It's the main it's the main road that leads into Southport, mm. but it's a little bit it's a little bit further in. And as that um, Abbey, I think it was said that yes. it's not not that far away from um, the Southport Stadium. Football Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it, everything that I've heard from the forums and so on. Mm. Um, everyone's been saying that it it, it has been a facility that is for children. God, that's the worry, isn't so, it, here? 
Yeah. Yeah. Describe that a bit because I know what you mean. It's it's got a kind of old Victorian town feel to it, Southport, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it has. Everybody knows everybody, mm. and um, I'm just worrying now in cases kids that we know that might be involved and. Yeah. Well, I, I suspect that the delay in the police revealing much more than they have already is partly because it's being dealt with now. Um, you know, mm-hmm. it's, they're in the middle of dealing with it. But also, I suspect it's going to be very bad news when we do get uh, details. Some, yeah. new, some new detail here, actually. Northwest Ambulance saying they have treated at least eight people. Um, they're not giving details of the people, but they're saying they um, have treated eight people, describing it as a major incident um, happening in Southport this morning. And I'm I'm so sorry for you, Claire, that you're in a sense caught up in it because it's your community. So it's um, horrible when stuff like this happens where you lived, isn't it? Thank you very much, Claire. Claire in Southport lives just over a mile away.